I have an Epiphone Masterbuilt 500 MNS. Um, it's part of Epiphone's Masterbuilt series. Uh, basically, it means it has solid sides and back instead of the press laminate that a lot of their guitars have. Um, with the mahogany back and sides, it really has a full warm tone to it. Uh, I bought this on eBay probably around eight years ago. You know, sight unseen. I'd never even played one before in a guitar shop. Just read a bunch of reviews on them and it's, they sounded great. And they fit my price range, which at that time was $500. And it was also the most expensive guitar I'd ever bought at that time. And when I received it and opened up the box, I was blown away. It was the best sounding guitar I've ever played, especially acoustic. <clears throat> um, I probably played it for hours before I even changed out the strings on it, which were already beat when I received it. Um, and of course, after changing them, it sounded even twice as good. It is stamped on the back used which is maybe something certain guitar shops you know did i can't remember exactly where i bought it from if it was a you know a private seller or guitar shop something like that but it is stamped used i know they stamp some guitars second when they're not quite you know of the quality that their the other guitars are the only blemishes that are even on this guitar there's two slight little marks in the finish right up in here which even if i got it close to the camera you probably couldn't see but other than that, it's perfect, and you know I wouldn't trade it in for that for the world because it's great playing guitar. The action on it is great, not too high, not too low. You can chord it all the way up the neck, no fret buzz. You can do you know single string stuff. It's really great. I mean, I play this car the, the guitar the most out of every guitar I own. Uh, the back of the fretboard is getting a little wear can't really see it yet, but you can definitely feel it. Um, other than that, it's held up great. Um, and I have, you know, some pretty high-end guitars to compare it to. You know, the Gibson, Gibson Hummingbird and a Martin D28. And this is still my go-to guitar for, for $500. So you really can't go wrong if you ever find one. Um, the only issues I have with it is recording it. So usually, it's not acoustic electric, so I'll record it with a mic. And it just kind of has a high-end sound to it, kind of tinny, not really full, not, not the way it sounds live at all, which, not that I don't like it about it, but it's just the, my only drawback with it is I'm hesitant to record with it because of that. So I'll usually use, you know, a different guitar. But, you know, live, just playing around the house, learning songs or whatever, this is my go-to guitar. Um, definitely gets played a lot. I'll play a little sample for you. Like I said, it doesn't sound as good as it does live, just so you can get an idea. a couple times. So that's it. My Epiphone DR500 MNS Mahogany Back and Sides. Uh, their master built series if you ever find one of these try to play it or buy it you won't be disappointed <laughs>